Taking Hurricane Laura, it's a strengthening category to Hurricane at this point and moving forward, it's not going to be a threat directly to the coastal bend. So we'll get that out of the way up front. This is moving toward southeastern Texas and western Louisiana, northwest at 15 miles per hour. It's got 110 mile per hour winds associated with it and this is going to strengthen further as it moves in the direction of that texas louisiana state line perhaps a category three or four hurricane uh, at landfall uh, this is going to happen tonight into early tomorrow morning likely a little bit after midnight on the official landfall uh, so it's going to be bad in that part of the country that texas louisiana state line this thing gets picked up by upper level winds it's going to move fairly quickly so it's not going to stall over that area area uh, like Harvey did uh, three years ago. It's going to keep moving, but still 10 to 15 inches of rain uh, going to fall where this thing tracks. Lots of people still wondering, is it going to come here? Is it possible it comes here? At this point, no, it's not going to be coming to the coastal bend. It's going to get picked up by uh, this high pressure that's moving into the southeastern part of the U.S. You see how all of the weather guidance is congruent with that landfall in near the Texas, Louisiana state line tonight and into tomorrow morning. It is possible though that we see some passing showers rotating around the counterclockwise circulation uh, of Laura. So that is possible today, but this storm uh, will show you how far away it's going to be from our coastline between two and 300 miles offshore. Uh, this storm is going to pass, so it's not going to be a direct threat here as it moves toward that Texas-Louisiana state line. Uh, the worst hit locations are going to be the spots that are on that eastern side. They're going to get the brunt of the storm surge, the strongest winds, uh, and the worst this storm has to offer. The locations on the western side will get offshore flow, uh, so this landfall location would be best case scenario for places well out of you know the possible scenarios best case for galveston uh, the galveston bay in houston it's still going to be rough there but a track farther to the east is better for uh, houston and galveston this could easily be a tropical storm all the way up uh, into arkansas so the winds are going to be strong you see the hurricane force winds staying east of houston but the tropical storm force conditions will be felt uh, in the Houston area as this storm moves in. The storm surge east of center could easily get up to about 10 to 15 feet. Locally here, we're only looking at one to three feet, so a much lower impact uh, for the coastal bend. So that one to three feet of surge will lead to some coastal flooding, a high risk for rip currents with the longer period, larger wave heights. 9 to 11 feet in the near shore Gulf of Mexico waters uh, will be possible on those wave heights with Laura several hundred miles off our coastline. Right now it's calm, cloudy, 79 degrees west to northwest wind at 6 miles per hour and it's humid outside. Today we will see a few of those passing showers from the western flank of Laura 95 the forecast high with otherwise partly cloudy skies and a northeast breeze 7 to 14 miles per hour tonight still an isolated shower possible 78 the overnight low temperature uh, an isolated shower or storm continues to be in the forecast thursday but friday saturday uh, will be drier 97 on friday with mainly sunny skies another little slug of tropical moisture comes in here on sunday leading to additional rain chances here on sunday and monday